the silver pool. Might best be off. I'll get you, Kronos. For stopping Kronos was the second born of Hades and his queen, I said. Wait, who? So then they had a girl. The Titan must have struck your father's house right after you were born. Endless pathways and suffocating Erebus lead to dead ends, and very scarce are those who can navigate them. Took only my entire life to figure out. <laughs> Looks like a new path out. Good evening. It's been too long, sister. Look at you on your great hunt. Not ideal circumstances, but you've finally begun. Know that the family has your back, surprised as they are about this. No shortage lately of surprises on Olympus or below. It's good to see you, Artemis, but I must be off. Time's against us and all that. Time's an old fool, too busy besieging the mountain of the gods to sense the threat headed his way. Go get him. For you. is yours. Go find your mark. Good hunting. Mighty 
god of earth and sea, are ya? Poseidon's power and my own don't often mix, but then again, neither do he and I. Of that you can be certain there, dearie. Flame of the Hearth. This one again. supple and strong in the witch's care. Yet knowing Hecate, she must have deemed the risk too great. I understand. I'll try to understand. Desolation. Over here, need to press on. You there? You know what they say, Freenos. Failure is the greatest instructor of all. Come here, you little bug. They were all so happy together, weren't they? And oblivious to the Titan's threat. How's it going? Ever think maybe we're just not cut out for this, Mel? Me with the haunting, you with the... What are you trying to do again? 
Find the Titan of Time. Punish him for his crimes against my family. Restore the rightful ruler of the Underworld. Hey, you're cut out for haunting, Dora. Oh, thanks. Just like I'm sure you're cut out for all that other stuff. Hail, spirit. Who summons me? The rivers have flowed back there. I've had these in my head for long enough. Headmistress is away. Take care, then. They're not going to help you, you know. The fates, I mean. They don't take pity on whoever asks. If anything, you'll make things even worse. Maybe you just don't give your sisters enough credit. If they once aided my brother, then there has to be a chance they'll aid us. They have a stake in this, too. What, you mean their family? They couldn't care less. Too busy messing with everybody's lives, making it look like an accident. You mustn't speak of them that way. Back in one piece. We've multiple reports the armies of Kronos are massing on the surface up there, and not yet caught wind of your efforts. At least you aren't contending with them, eh? My route through the Underworld is fraught in its own right, but yes, it's comforting to know that army of traitors remains ignorant of me. There's not a downward route that's more discreet. Those thorny chaps in the woods, they've no love for Kronos either, at least. I'll get past them. May Moonlight guide you. And may you prevail. You two, please keep an eye on things while I'm away. Vengeance for my father. <laughs> Sleep well. The ashes remember. The Huntress. Ready for more. How about the pick? She's here, now watch and learn. I understand you ventured to the bottom of the sea. I too have been there in those depths, young one. But once, a while back, and briefly, I might add. Of course. You were a famous mariner in your mortal days. Then you finally met your end beneath the waters upon which you sailed? Nah, it was way more glorious than that. Moonlight guide us. Moonlight, yeah. The moon is new. Ugh, 
these blasted wards. She's messing with that thing. Farewell, Commander. Moonlight. She's deviated from her path. Great Titaness, the Eye of Night. I draw you down. Lend me your might. Good evening to you, little star. Our cycles now are intertwined, as I no longer can afford merely to watch. Whichever threat we face, I vow to shine for you. Now. Twilight curse. Together we shine. <gasps> Together we shine. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's some more silver I can use. through endless misty passageways, the wailing souls within its languid waters all denied their eternal rest. Reminds me of home. for me. You've got Selene's moonlight shine on you, eh? I'll not deny it has a certain power and allure, but such a cold and distant light next to a scorching flame? There's no comparison. Shadow Spiller.
dock with you. We'll have to do this again. You're partly mortal bloods to blame. And so am I, for having fallen into love with a mere farm boy once. Cold comfort. some bones for later use. Hades holds more than the souls of the dead, riches beyond imagination, even the remains of the deathless titans. They'll end up back where they belong. Hmm? Silver. Hmm? and catch whatever comes my way. Pleasant memory that lingers on my mind from lonely dark of night until the break of day. One more time. 
Silken finery, so soft, divine. I spin my threads and catch whatever comes my way. Pleasant memory that lingers on my mind. From lonely dark of night until the break of day. Oh! Arachne, the outfit you wove for me was so beautiful. I'm sorry to say I got into a bit of a scrape or two. And I'm afraid it didn't survive. Oh, that's quite all right, silly. It wasn't made to last. What is? It was made to be in the moment with you. Now here, I've plenty more. you are tucked away do be careful out there and coins. No sign of Hermes yet, my lord. Forgive my impatience. I know infiltrating our enemy's ranks and discovering the details of his plans to conquer Olympus is sensitive work. He'll be back any evening now, I'm sure. Fair trade. You really have to pay that care on character in these situations. What sort of daft system is that? What, no blessings for the poor? Doesn't seem fair at all. through the air as you approach. Unseasonably cold. Or perhaps it is as Demeter desires. She aids you, does she not? She does. She knew me for her granddaughter at once. Have you had opportunity to speak with her about me and all that's transpired? No. I've been a bit preoccupied. Here, Demeter shall be able to cool her wrath against me for keeping you a secret for so long.
mend your wounds, and neither shall your enemies. Return to Shadow now. I prevailed. Some cinder. I'm not your girl, old man. My name and business are not your concern. So it seems. You appear to be quite pressed for time. Forgive this old man his transgressions. Couldn't have been. sopping blackest pits of Oceanus reside horrors that the greatest mortal or immortal poets could not possibly describe. I'll find a way. I wonder what other terrors lurk within the sea.
Lydia is not exactly as she seems. In olden times, she was content merely to let her flames keep sputtering within the hearths of mortal homes. Admit to it, sister. You've changed. You, Demeter, you've not changed at all. None of you have. It's why you're in a heap of trouble now. Or we, I ought to say. Good thing your grandkids come into our rescue. Life or death. Lotus. Ah. We buy your time, sunshine. The Titan thinks he has us pinned, but we have the situation here under control. Just locked in a bit of a stalemate is all. Not moonlight, that's for sure. Strength of the sea. Pinheads.
It is the dead of night within a haunted, barely moonlit thicket at the underworld's edge. There, a young forsaken princess hunts her prey. Ready or not, hence I go. I bid you farewell for now, Lord Hypnos. Where could she be? The keen-eyed princess finds a set of tracks, suggesting that her foe trod through this dusty ground not very long before. Shush, Homer! How shall I ever catch her if you're going to describe my every move? I, I, I have no idea to whom you refer, to whom the Princess of the Dead refers, as she continues on her fateful search. Quit teasing me and help me look. You'll find her yet. Odysseus, have you seen Hecate about? Not in a little while, little goddess. Though I'd expect that pointy hat of hers to give her away. I'll look for it. Thank you. Well, she's got to be around here somewhere, little goddess. did mill anyway but I dare say I can escape your clutches yet hey oh. can't hide from me over there <laughs> there you are got you again ah, so persistent give up already witch for I'm a titaness! You cannot vanquish me! I can and shall. Hi, Shades. Is Hecate about? Huh, not seen her, huh? What's the matter? Oh, it's merely that uh, I've not heard your laughter before. It reminded me of your mother. A much preferable sound to that of grief. I promise not to cry again. I still get sad sometimes, but not as much. Do not make promises you cannot keep. When tears well up, let them spill forth. They're not so precious that they need be contained. But you never cry, Hecate. And I wish to become strong like you. So that I might find Kronos and destroy him for what he's done. And then you could hear my mother's laugh again. And I shall do everything in my power to prepare you. So that you may succeed where I failed. If not for your family's sake, then for your birthright as the princess of the underworld. What do you mean you failed? You tried to beat Kronos yourself? He hurt you? Concern yourself with your own pain, not mine. Destroying Kronos shall not change the past, and the pain shall linger, though assert itself less frequently with age. But enough of this. On the morrow, we shall teach you to hunt greater prey. <gasps> Truly? Oh, death to Kronos.
All my life I've prepared, and I'm nowhere near ready, am I? You stay right there, okay? The Titan has your family in his thrall, or worse. What has he done with them? Dora, couldn't help but notice that my jar collection wasn't sorted properly. I would never store fungus with herbs. Are you trying to subtly drive me mad? No. Although, now that you put it that way, maybe in the future, yes. I, I was working on minor possessions and your mushroom bottle kind of slipped. So I put it back. You put it incorrectly back. I... Oh, just tell me of such things next time, would you? Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Where are you, headmistress? As we improve ourselves, so does our craft. I'm ready. O oh, daughters of night, who can see all tomorrows, please help me avenge both our family's sorrows. Nothing. They didn't listen. Let's begin. Hear me, Selene, if you so desire. Aid me in finding that which I require. So mote it be. Great tree of life, please listen to my thoughts. It is done. Such sorcery. Nightshade seeds. to shape reality. So mote it be. Broker, you've expanded your shop. Mm. Could make a lovely gift. Be well. All clear. You passed her a little test that time. Must have felt so good beating her ass to the ground. Don't get to spar with her, so I can only imagine. We're not just sparring. You don't know our craft. I know I could take her. Up and about. The good witch there noted you were able to vanquish her in a full-on contest. Impressive stuff. You get much farther. I did. Down to the chambers near the bottom of the sea. Strange music echoing all through the place. I wasn't prepared. Strange music, huh? Reminds me of when... Um, oh, I'll spare the tales for another time. You've enough on your mind, I can tell. May moonlight guide us. Oh. 
Headmistress couldn't ask for better familiars than you two. You'll flourish here. Plenty of room to grow. The darkly splendorous Malinui attends a certain thicket of the crossroads whenever she requires time to think and plan. Time is against us. <laughs> Grow and thrive. The Arcana. Eternity. I lack the grasp for this. I can do this. Better prepared. Much deeper than it looks. The Tablet of Peace. You are mine now. It shall serve you well. Join with me. Lim and Oros, sister blades. We're fellow sisters now. A fitting armament. Always she returns as dusk gives way to night. I understand that great Selene graced you with one of them hexes that she's got. A powerful effect, but you must use a bunch of magic first to charge it up. Uh, like charging a crystal. Commander, I thought most of your experience was in the martial ways. But you know the intricacies of magic as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting stung by bees. Salutations. Hey, yeah. Uh. I'll get through all that gloom somehow. Ready or not, hence I go. 
A lightning sigil. The king of the gods must have his hands full recently. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Ah, young lady, so we meet at last. Emerge from all that gloom to help us settle an old score. If you possess your father's strength, then we have the advantage. Let us strike. one of her pranks taking on the titan yourself come on but it did sound like something a vengeful child of hades might attempt you never get accustomed to this light sensing incantation took effect. Crossroads. Ha! 
Lord Charon will want this. <laughs> Shadow Spiller. <laughs> Accept this gift. Such deep, impenetrable gloom surrounds the underworld, Princess, that not even her infernal eye can easily discern what horrors lie therein. If I can't see into the shadows, I'll cut through. lived up to his shining reputation so far. At least he did his part. As soon as I told him about you, sure enough, he was plenty eager to let all Olympus know. Apollo was very kind, though easy for me to say. I'm not his twin. What'd you tell him anyway? Only the truth, that I ran into the reclusive Witch of the Crossroads while scouting out our foe, and that she introduced me to a secret Titan killer she's been training up. You just didn't tell him how long ago that was. So now they really think this long-lost relative of theirs is going to find Kronos and slay him. Oh, they think you don't stand a chance. But they don't have a lot of options, so they'll support you anyway. Especially since you're family and all. And you know I will.
possible. A palm of power. These still grow in the underworld. Soft, divine. I spin my threads and catch whatever comes my way. A customer! Saw you get into a scuffle with the great big witch. Why are you fighting? I thought you were on the same side. Oh, I can hardly keep up with everything lately. Headmistress and I aren't really fighting. Well, no, I suppose we are. Except it isn't born of anger or misunderstanding. It's just her way of making certain I'm prepared. Huh. Well, look, you show her for me the next chance you get, won't you, my friend? And no pressure, but I might be watching just in case. I won't get underfoot, I promise. Keep you safe. It's a death cap. Be well, all right? You'll regret this. <laughs> Fine work as always. <laughs> Crossroads. <laughs> A 
matter. All of this tainted gold. You'll see that it's disposed of properly, Lord Charon. I long to see that day. This one. Oh, to be an urgent bit of battlefield relief delivered courtesy of the feared boatman himself. <laughs> Come on, we all have fantasies, gorgeous. shall again confront the one who raised her and taught to her the means by which she may prevail. There's always more to learn. Thank you for your service. Prompt as ever. I'll get him, headmistress. I swear it. All that you've taught, I'll bring to bear. And no matter the obstacles that stand in the way, Kronos shall fall by my hand. I require no convincing, Malinoe, although perhaps you do. However much I've taught, what's important is you're a capable student. I have to be more than that. Need to recharge.
Found you at last. Princess of the Underworld. I regret having to contact you at such a time. It's not my custom to intervene during moments of doom, only to observe. Moments of doom? You're Lord Moros, emissary of the Three Fates. So your sisters heard me after all. They expected me to find you, for there's something they intend for you to have. Wherever you're going, look for it when you arrive. I'm uncertain if we'll meet again. Farewell. It's been an honor. Wait! <sighs> He's gone. I just met Doom Incarnate, Freenos. I'm not sure I should be excited about that. Oh. <laughs> This family, lost to you since you were born. They deserve their vengeance, and so do you. You there, Dora? Is that? This is from the Three Fates. Prophecy fulfilled. You fought well. The fates indulged you after all. That is their scroll beside your tent. It followed you out of the shadows. Perhaps it can provide some answers. Would that it does. The Fated List has tasked me with ensuring certain minor prophecies are fulfilled, though says little else as yet. May it reward your efforts, at least. But do not expect the Fates to always favor you. The bane of our enemy is not necessarily our friend. We'll have to take our chances. Together we shine. Together we shine. Each night, another possibility. Domnarski Traxon. Your intent was true. Here are the bones. <laughs> Trade you. What? Can't believe sucking up to the fates actually worked. That big scroll over there, that's really from them. Personally delivered by Lord Moros, no less. He seemed a little pressed for time, so we didn't get to talk much. Are the two of you close? We're children of Nyx. None of us are close. But we crossed paths. When certain mortals get what they deserve, it involves us both. I can only imagine. Evening. Nemesis has been in an especially foul mood of late. Anything I should know about? I was going to ask you the same. She sought my task, but that's nothing new. Though she's been clashing with Headmistress more and more. Ah, 
a shame it's been this way. Personally, I'd rather have divine retribution with me than against. I reckon you can't just smooth things over with her, can you? I have my doubts. Not even the wiles and stratagems of that resourceful sack of cities, Odysseus, may be sufficient to overcome the titan of time. They say never to underestimate that man. <laughs> Come on. May moonlight guide us. We'll get through this. Got something for you? <laughs> You look comfortable. You are welcome here, and you are safe. Full bloom. What say the ashes? Remnants of the past. I'll keep this in mind. The cards know. Might store my keepsakes here if I had any. Behold that heirloom storage case over there. The task comes fast. We bid you welcome to the vanguard of the underworld. How have you lately fared against the lurkers and the serpents all that way down in the watery depths? Knowing of them and squaring off against them are two very different things. They're significantly stronger than the lost souls lingering around here. And they have no sense of fear at all, attacking without any hesitation. They're basically just walking fish, young one. Not much for conversating, but they'll stick you with a trident just fine. Don't you let him. I won't. <laughs> Discura, the witch's staff. With me, my friend. Hence I go. To the house of Hades. As you embarked on your fateful voyage yet again, my niece, I have something for you. The newfangled boons we offer haven't always swept you off your feet, but we have older, sometimes stronger blessings too. The ocean's fury.
is the Titan's fault. even sturdier. Look upon me. Sing you soon to sleep. I'll drink of you and leave a little heap. <laughs> Again. Oh, little fly, come sit and rest your wings. You've grown so tired flying to and fro. I'll wrap you up and sing you soon to sleep. I'll drink of you and leave a little heap. woven spider silk, ensconcing the environs of one gloom-filled recess within Erebus, rivals in quality even the weavings of the gods themselves. Arachne knows her stuff. Hmm. Do my eyes deceive? My silk is everything to me. It's stronger than it looks. It keeps me safe. It can suffocate even the strongest prey. Don't you like it? Is there a certain pattern, color combination you admire? It's lovely, Arachne. Look, I wish I could stay and admire it, but... But you can't. I understand, I truly do. Though it would mean a lot to me if you would take some of my silk with you on your way.
You won't stop me. To think the Goddess of Seasons herself is my grandmother. I am honored to have made your acquaintance. I see the Witch of the Crossroads taught you not just strength, but grace. I hereby accept your offering, and have something for you as well. A gift from grandmother. gathered us and announced that his twin sister, whilst out hunting for our enemies, stumbled upon a long-lost relative with the Witch of the Crossroads. Why, I was overjoyed and furious at once.
shot. Thought I'd drop in. You're in top form. I can often depend on Sister Selene's light to guide me on my hunts. But where you're going, she can't follow, can she? Nor can I. And Headmistress Hecate is needed at the crossroads. I alone have the authority to enter the House of Hades, if I can make it there. Hey, what do you mean, if? It's a matter of when, as far as I'm concerned. I'm thinking maybe very soon, in fact. eliminated I call upon the moon and draw you down now that Artemis has revealed to Olympus what they need to know of you she had pretext to return to your woods but your reunion needed to be brief once our troubles have subsided may we silver sisters meet together and rejoice the choice is yours The Twilight Curse is yours to use. Together we shine. smuggler in these dark times, huh? some sort, my lord. I've returned as much gold as I could, but know full well it isn't easy for you to procure the goods you provide. Oh, I thank you. Redeem this at the crossroads, is that it? Compose yourself. I sense that Demeter is with you once again. I suspected she would either be among the first to lend support or to refuse. Could you not have told her about me, Headmistress? To have lost her daughter and grandchildren. I cannot imagine her sorrow. It was a painful choice to leave her in the dark. She would have gone to war immediately. But our task requires patience, as you know.
Behold the moon. against me and for that you owed a gift may you learn well through it Melinoi. the book of shadows the fire stepping princess stands alone He's back. Ah, there you are. You have returned. Or lost your way, perhaps, in those interminable passageways beyond. I know where I'm going. Whom do I address? And what are you doing here yourself in such a place? My name and business are not your concern. Is that not what you said? Ah, the impertinence of the youth of this age. The Rim of Oceanus. The underworld plunges deeper than the deepest sea, yet there are such places where the edge of one and the other meet. One dark abyss next to another. Each chamber here leads to a deeper one. I can't.
safe, Lord Charon. This isn't your domain. Simple prey. Hear me on my authority. Surging on. Give up already, girl. I know who you are. I know where you go. You shall not get there. Magic. Fulnos. I'll carve you limb from limb for this. For everything. How frightening. Unfortunately, we shall never know if yours was a mere empty threat. For you are going on a little time out. At least until some other matters are resolved. No. You wish to trace through this realm, then here, bask in it. That old man, it was him. Where am I? Or when? Over there. Just need to hold within this rift. What witchery is this? of prosperity all that we've built together threatens to come crashing down all because of a little bad blood hm. I've come this far it'll take more than that Kronos Yeah! <laughs> 
Charon, I've returned. An ever-present song compels the nightmare bringing princess ever forward towards the beauty, deeper into the abyss. It's very pretty. What's everybody queuing for? You must be different. What's your name? Oh, make yourself comfy. We're just about to start, aren't we, gals? Sirens. I should have known you were the source of all that singing. Slinked down into the underworld, have you? It's the perfect pressure down here. Beats the pressure trying to make art while all our fans are watching, begging, Skilla, where's your next soul? Don't you drown your so-called fans to death? Have you even got any left? Oh, don't ever say such things about our fans. Oh, hey, gals, let's say we give her the old song and dance. Sirens are amphibious. You know their weaknesses, Freynos. You're always here for me. You don't remember them, besides this painting and your dreams. But still, you fight for them. Well, look at you. Dora, don't you pay any attention to what's been happening out there? The rise of the Titan of Time? The siege of Olympus? Nope. Can't say any of that rings a bell. Olympus, that's where the family members you don't like live, right? And the Titan of Time. I get that he's bad, but he's never done anything to me personally, as far as I know, so... This entire encampment exists to resist his efforts to overthrow the gods and rule the world? Well then. Maybe I should thank him, because I happen to like this encampment. Oh, shush. May moonlight guide us. Terror engulf us. The last wheel of the three fates, those reclusive determiners of all that is to come, is now under the Princess of the Underworld's care. With their aid, we may have a chance. This wasn't on the list before. Another prophecy fulfilled. A prophecy concerning doom. I have to find Lord Moros once again and call him here. and shine. 
Headmistress, I saw him, Kronos. First beyond Erebus in the guise of an old man. He then attempted to ensnare me in some vision out of time. The river of flame, everything ablaze. Still, your heart, Melinoe, you're safe. And you were able to return again, which means that all your training served you well. So then, he realizes who you are. So he claims. I broke free from his spell like it was second nature, but neither could I raise a hand against him. What must I do now? Nothing has changed. You're to confront him down where he resides, where your mother and father rightly ought to be. But go with patience, not with haste. He may know something of your power now, yet not enough. Yes, headmistress. Death to Kronos. Death to Kronos. I think I know how I can do the bidding of the fates. Olympus, I would see their elemental essences, my victory. Hmm, yes. It is done. Must be an incantation that can help. want to keep track of. And there's something by the broker. Special order privileges from Lord Caron himself. spirits. Nemesis on break, I guess. Let's see. You look as though you've seen a ghost, if you'll forgive the very antiquated mortal turn of phrase, Goddess. So we'd say to someone looking disconcerted. Things all right? Yes and no. I saw Kronos out there. I thought he had me, but I broke free from his spell. This was in Oceanus, though I also caught him snooping near the pathways out of Erebus. Damn it. Our reports said nothing of the sort, but then... Uh, some of our Shade informants haven't yet returned. We had expected Kronos to stay put in the lowest reaches. He must have caused enough of a stir to catch his notice. I've hardly been discreet in my approach. Is there truly no other way? We reckon not. We're counting on him thinking you're inconsequential to his plans. As for our own, I shall go over this with the Good Witch. Be safe, and cheers for the report. Of course. Moonlight guide us. We'll find our way. 
you keep the headmistress in pleasant company, she's an important job to do. Pleasant dreams. Into the earth you go. Ah, that's a nice touch. Ashes of the past. Concentrate. The unseen. Ready. My keepsakes. The sheaf. To all of you just joining up, welcome. The old storage case. So, it's an heirloom from my family. That it is, and for as long as I can recollect. Look upon it knowing that the burden which you bear, you need not bear alone. Plus it'll keep your keepsakes all in one handy spot. A symbol of the gift-giving custom of Olympus, then. A tradition that now falls to us. Yep. May Moonlight guide you. It better. I'll get through all that gloom somehow. Once more. The blacksmith sigil. What is he going to fit me for a suit of armor? In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Uh, they told me you needed a weapon or something. Uh, you already got one. Right, lousy one can spot that piss poor workmanship from here. Though, uh, I could tune it up. Through divination of the elements, I see it now. Silver all grew stronger, didn't it? Not even those with the power to enter the crossroads at will can entirely anticipate which of its three hidden paths shall be their exit. I'd not expected this one. 
Let's head this way this time. with Kronos for so long that we've begun to doubt that anything can meaningfully change. I wonder, Flower, can you truly rid us of this blight? I sense the elemental essence is here now. Excellent. I'll send you to your graves. these golden coins. that, Homer? Never used to have much contact with your father. 
So when Hades ceased communicating with Olympus, we figured he was back to his old ways. Turns out that old sneak Kronos got him. There was nothing we could do. Splendid was the princess in her fight. Surprises, flower, and perhaps in that we are alike. But there exists a rare variety that's welcome, like a brisk breeze on an autumn eve. Switch to a rarer boon. My mother. I met one of your brothers, Lord Charon. It was Moros. He delivered to me a certain artifact, but then was gone. Do you know of the fated list? It's been in my family's care before. So, what of Moros? Where could he have gone in all of this? I can locate him again. The boatman Charon, one time steward of the dead, now skulls the rivers of the underworld in aid of those who yet resist the Titan Lord. What would we do without him? Thank you for your service. Warp and waft, warp and waft. Hmm. Cut it up and fold it. And again. Dye the silk and load it. Spinning, spinning goes the thread. Warp and waft, warp and waft. Cut it up and fold it. You've been so busy, Arachne. Not just all these dresses, but all Erebus is teeming with silken cocoons. You're certain it's all right for me to break them? Of course, you big silly. What, do you suppose they're teeming with my countless brood? By the time you see a cocoon, anything in there is either for you or was out to get you. Now here. Make way for more. Good find. Do come again, won't 
you. Malinoi, you surpassed me before, yet I wonder, was it your mastery over our craft, or did the fates themselves perhaps provide a little nudge? Come, Headmistress. If I could be provoked that easily, I'd stand no chance at all, not even if the fates desired otherwise. Good fortune seldom comes to those in no position to receive it. Show me your victory was no mere accident. The all-consuming flame!
Show even greater wrath against the enemies awaiting you below. Return to Shadow now. Outlasted her. Beneath the outer edge of Erebus extends a hidden region of the underworld. Known only to few, and navigable only by fewer still. Let's hope so. You. Returned, have you? How unsanitary. You seem to know your way around. I am master of this realm. Yet even I would never venture into yonder woods. You even found your way back from your detour in Asphodel. Damn you, Kronos. The fates cannot help you now. Oh, stop. Tis a pity that this granddaughter of mine is both a weakling and a fool, though an elusive one. I ought to thank the fates that we have met at last. The fates had nothing to do with this. You took my family. Our family. Make not to their same mistakes. And in time, we surely shall grow past this halted start to our relationship. I shall see you later. Wait. You. Hmm? Hmm? Some silver. Again. Beyond lies Uncle Poseidon's realm. The craftsman's gift. from fleet-footed Hermes since he told us of our enemy's advance. Thus we strike, yet hold to faith that some night hence he shall return to us with news about what else the Titan Kronos has in store. Your choice? Gift. 
here goes. Wow. I mean, come on, just... Oh. Yeah? Well, would you look at that? Another would-be suitor journeyed far and wide just to gaze upon me. Not that I blame you. And get totally rejected. Fine. Ogle if you must. You have the wrong idea. I'm not seeking a mate. I don't even know who you are. What? I'm Narcissus, dummy. The Narcissus. And if you're no would-be suitor, then why don't you relieve me of one of these innumerable gifts the others offered in vain? Then beat it. Serpent. My silver's come alive. <laughs> that which slithers, seeps, and crawls, all of it thrives within the foul air and crushing climate near the bottom of the sea. The air is definitely stuffier down here.
that one for me. Appreciate the backup. You bested Sister Hecate. She told me so herself, and with, dare I say, more than a hint of pride. Though she's intent on testing you still? She always said I can't beat Kronos if I can't beat her. And so we spar. I think she's gone easy on me to boost my confidence. Well, I can plainly see she failed. Gone easy. <laughs> if there's one thing the Witch of the Crossroads hasn't ever done, it's that. My mark be with you. See you. Stage pass. Showtime. I knew it. She's come back. You ready for another show, lady? We've been rehearsing our material, practicing non-stop, because one day I'm gonna be a star. Oh, me and the gals. What do your musical ambitions have to do with unprovoked acts of violence against me? She's just heckling us gals. Ignore her and take it from the top. Two, three, four! Come, we are Skilla and the Servants!
Viruses are not invincible. Oh, get out of my head. Freynos, I can't get that blasted siren song out of my head. Come here, you little bug. The modestly appointed tent of fierce Princess Milenui nonetheless is dutifully organized and immaculately clean. I won't live in squalor. All that you lost is all that you are, as Headmistress would say. Hey, you're up. You were out a while. See anything good down there that time? I fought past Erebus down into Oceanus. It was so strange being underneath the sea. Do you remember the sea, Dora? The sea, the sea, the sea, the sea. That's the thing with all the water in it, right? I heard it's nice sometimes. Also kills a bunch of people, death by drowning, so... Huh, I've been getting mixed messages, I guess. It's a big place. Hail, spirit. Kneel, witch. The fated list of minor prophecies. Welcome to the crossroads, Shade. Welcome, Lord Charon. These shipments shall be very valuable to us. We remain as ever in your debt, Charon. May swift Hermes hasten your voyages across the realms, wherever he may be. And until we meet again, shadows conceal you. Thank you for the supplies, my lord. What to cast? shall be so mote it be this should help I ask of you spirits of earth and night to take away this pain that we may fight so mote it be Should be of use. I'll take it. Huh. We're getting nowhere. I should be out there fighting. Not standing watch over a place nobody comes to uninvited. Damn it. I think the circumstances justify heightened security around here. But if you don't, go take it up with the headmistress, not me. Ugh. Odysseus out checking on reports. Here you go. You're safe here. Full grown.
Headmistress, if I may. If time cannot be stopped, then we shall see. If spill my blood I must, so mote it be. Tis done. Interesting. The fates expected this. Looks like I did it. Which cards reflect my path? The Swift Runner. of night. Now. Igneum. The umbral flames. Incinerate my foes and light my path. That creepy artifact is yours, kiddo. Commander? Young one. Have you seen, Commander? Lord Charon's come to visit us. At last our supply lines are secure, and our counter-assault begins. Uh, yeah. It's been quite some time since good Lord Charon visited us last. We'd better all be on our best behavior around him. But, uh, where'd you get all that supply line stuff? Why, he told me himself, sir. In his way. Oh. Death to Kronos, Commander. Yeah, kill him. Ah, it burns. Accept defeat. The moon is waxing. <laughs> 